Welcome to Wine in Ancient Egypt. When the god Horus lost his eye in a war with Seth, the ancient Egyptians believed the eye turned into a vine and the vine's tears became wine. Early texts dating back to 3150 BCE contain the hieroglyph for vine. Regarded as extremely valuable, wine was highly sought after by the elite. It was also an essential part of many religious ceremonies. A millennia-old tradition, grape cultivation and wine production was regimented in the way typical of ancient Egyptian Bursi. Egyptians kept careful records of winemakers, which they clearly identified on labels. Every landowner with a modicum of self-respect usually kept a vineyard. This held particularly true in the regions of the Fayum and the Nile Delta. Documentation shows that only certain craftsfolk were allowed to provide the containers required to store and transport wine. That and rigorous quality control checks established for every step of wine production shows that ancient Egyptians knew that the quality and longevity of wine could easily be affected by any number of variables, which they paid careful attention to. Egyptians had different kinds of wines, most of which ranged in quality from good to very good. The sweet shade, to which honey had been added. The soft nejem, obtained by drying the grapes in the sun. The ma, reserved for religious ceremonies. And finally there was the peor, the mediocre rated wine, resulting from the second pressing of grapes and reserved for a less discerning palate. Thank <laughs> you. 